The Stalker series has been around for 15 years now and is one of those franchises that people either love or have never played. I myself didn't pick up the first game, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, until 2021. I saw one of my friends playing the fantastic Stalker Anomaly and thought I'm going to start from the beginning. So I went out and purchased all the Stalker games, Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat. I installed Shadow of Chernobyl as it's the first game, booted it up and well, the game itself was fine but the visuals were very dated and I imagine they looked a little dated back in 2007 when it released. All good though because 90% of the games I play have dated graphics and that's the charm. With that being said, I once again fell down the modding rabbit hole. I spent hours, days and even weeks trying to achieve something that Stalker doesn't actually need. The Stalker series is gritty, brutal and unforgiving. Trying to get the visuals to look pretty goes against everything the game is. That being said, I still wanted to update the game but was looking for one simple to install package that wasn't over the top. So in the end I found the starter pack mod which as the description says is a collection of mods that improve visuals and remove bugs while keeping the vanilla gameplay intact. I've linked this down below and it's really easy to install but be sure to read the note. So what does the pack contain? Well I'm glad you asked. First up we have dynamic shaders which enhance reflections, adds god rays, sun effects and depth of field. Then we have the OWR3 weapons pack which adds high quality weapon models, animations and sounds. Next is photorealistic zone texture pack. This is a massive texture overhaul but it's done so well that if you're playing for the first time you won't even notice it's installed. HD models is included that imports character models from later games and improves the vanilla ones also. One of my personal favourites, Stalker Weather Overhaul creates a fully dynamic weather system consisting of 7 unique 24 hour cycles. This is really impressive and stomps all over systems in many modern AAA games. And finally we have Zone Reclamation Project. This is so big I could do a whole video on it. It's basically a massive bug fix and quality of life update. It's amazing and a real testament to the community of the Stalker series. In fact this whole package is amazing and in my opinion the best way to play the game with as little mucking around as possible. So is Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl still worth playing? You're damn right it is. Sure, it doesn't have a massive story driven narrative like today's AAA wank fests. A lot of the storytelling is done by the environment, but there is a story and it is something you can invest in. The characters and personalities of the zone are interesting and fit the look and feel of the game. One way to describe it would be something like Far Cry, but more hardcore and set in Ukraine. If you enjoyed the all gillied up mission from COD 4, and wondered what a whole game with those sort of gritty feels might feel like, then Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl might be for you. I enjoyed my time with the game, it fully immersed me and pulled me in for the whole ride. Once I started, I couldn't put it down or play anything else until it was done. There's not many games these days that can do that, both past and present. I highly recommend you buy this game, install the mods I suggest, and just enjoy it. Speaking of enjoyment, if you enjoyed this video, why not try this one? And please don't forget to like and sub, so with that being said, I'll see you down the road.